It's been 35 years since we last saw legendary naval aviator Pete Maverick Mitchell on screens, but now the only man to shoot down three enemy planes in the last 40 years is coming back. However, for those amongst you who don't know what makes Maverick tick, let's take a quick trip back to 1986. Here's everything you need to know about Top Gun in five minutes. Pete Maverick Mitchell and his radar intercept officer, or RIO, Nick Goose Bradshaw, are stationed aboard the USS Enterprise. While flying with wingman Cougar and his RIO Merlin, Maverick and Goose move to intercept an unexpected bogey. Uh, Cougar, I'm going to go head to head with them. After Cougar breaks high and right to see if he's really alone, Maverick notices a second bogey and Goose realizes the enemy planes are the never before encountered MiG 28s. Under strict instructions to not fire until fired upon, they manage to hustle the MiGs away. Greetings. <laughs> Cougar, however, is rocked to his core by the skirmish, and Maverick defies orders to land first in order to coax Cougar back to the carrier, where Cougar turns in his wings. Maverick is acknowledged for his actions but chewed out for disobeying orders. However, while Maverick's records of being busted include a history of high-speed passes over five air control towers and one admiral's daughter named Penny Benjamin, Maverick takes Cougar's upcoming spot at the Naval Fighter Weapons School, Top Gun, albeit with a warning. You screw up just this much, you'll be flying a cargo plane full of rubber dog shit out of Hong Kong. Yes, sir! Maverick and Goose head to Miramar, where their instructor Jester explains the purpose of the training school to the extremely horny fighter pilots in attendance. This gives me a hard on. Jester also introduces the pilots to the CO at Top Gun, Commander Mike Metcalf, call sign Viper. Later, while out drinking, Goose introduces Maverick to rival pilot Iceman and his Rio Slider, and Maverick attempts to woo a woman at the bar. You Charlotte Blackwood humors Maverick, but ultimately rejects his advances, and the next morning it's revealed Charlotte, or Charlie, is actually a civilian instructor at Top Gun. Hello. Afterwards, Maverick and Goose defeat Jester in their first training hop, which Maverick celebrates with an unauthorized flyby. Maverick is later dismissed by Ice as being unsafe. I don't like you because you're dangerous. That's right. Ice, man, I am dangerous. Maverick is also reproached by Viper for breaking one of the rules of engagement and buzzing the tower. Viper reveals to Jester that he flew with Maverick's father, Duke Mitchell, whose bad reputation within the Navy hangs over Maverick's head. After a spot of volleyball, Goose's wife and son arrive as Maverick begins a relationship with Charlie. Maverick and Charlie become closer as Top Gun training continues. I feel the need, the need for speed. Maverick and Goose almost defeat Viper, but are beaten by Jester after they leave their wingman, Hollywood, and his Rio Wolfman. That was some of the best flying I've seen yet. Right up to the part where you got killed. Disaster strikes soon afterwards. When Iceman and Maverick are pursuing the same target, Maverick's Tomcat passes through Ice's jet wash as he pulls away to give Maverick the shot. Maverick flames out and goes into an unrecoverable spin. Maverick and Goose eject, but Goose hits the canopy and is killed. Maverick is not considered responsible for the accident, but he's racked by guilt and his flying suffers. As Maverick looks to quit the school, Wolfman gives Charlie a heads up, but it's Viper who gets through to Maverick. He confides with him that he flew with his father and that Maverick is a lot like he was. Viper reveals to Maverick his father actually died a hero. Maverick stays and graduates and congratulates Ice and Slider on their trophy. Congratulations. Thank you. Ice, Slider, Hollywood, Wolfman and Maverick are immediately assigned back to the Enterprise when a disabled US ship begins drifting into enemy waters. Their mission is to give air support to that rescue. Maverick has partnered with Merlin and is ready on deck as Ice and Hollywood are jumped by five MiG-28s. Hollywood is shot down so Maverick is launched, but another MiG arrives and Ice survives against six of them until Maverick arrives. Maverick is spooked by another jet wash scare, but re-engages and shoots down three MiGs as Ice shoots down another, and the two remaining MiGs retreat. As the aviators return to the Enterprise to a hero's welcome, and Hollywood and Wolfman are successfully rescued, Ice and Maverick embrace as friends. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Yeah. Maverick lets go of the pass by tossing Goose's dog tags into the ocean, returning to Top Gun as an instructor, and reconnecting with Charlie. Though the past seems to have a funny way of coming back around. 
with the long-awaited sequel Top Gun Maverick bringing not only the aforementioned Penny Benjamin back into Maverick's life, but also Goose's son as a pilot and Top Gun graduate himself, with a seething distrust for his father's old partner. My dad believed in you. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. For more battle-hardened 80s blockbusters bundled into a few minutes, check out our summary of Rambo, and for more condensed crews, check out our Rapidly Mission Impossible series. For everything else, IGN will be your wingman anytime.